Welcome everybody to the Cheryl Technology Channel. I am your host, Chris, back with another video. And in this one, we're here examining, I got to say, probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Linux uh, distributions called Deepin OS. I hope y'all enjoy this. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this video like now, because this thing is awesome. Okay, so Deepin is built off of Debian. It is a, uh, chi it's, <laughs> it's Chinese based, which drew some concerns. I'm not going to, I'm not going to deny it, but after using it, I got to say, I, I like it a lot. Um, it's easy to use, can be installed on almost anything. Uh, ISO's file size is 3.2 gigabytes, roughly. It's like 32.2 something. Uh, the aim of this distribution, according to the website, according to them, is to make an easy to use, safe, uh, and reliable experience. That's what they, the company, which is called Wuhan Deepin Technology Company Limited, which is now, it's that's the development company, but as of 2020 is now owned by Union Tech. So y'all may be asking, why would you do a review or a deep, a dive in Deepin? Why? It's Chinese. Why would you do that? Can you trust it? Well, because it's one of the distributions. It's huge. It's very large right now. Like it's becoming very popular. And I wanted to do a review on it. So let's get into this video. That's the introduction. So now we're going to dive in. Now, y'all can see the desktop environment right here, right? Y'all can see it. See? See my little bar? I'm running it in a virtual machine. There you go. So. You can see it looks, what does it look like to y'all? Come on, I wanna hear it, tell me, tell me. Yeah, exactly, Mac OS. Until you get into the folder structure, which we're gonna go, we're gonna go into all this. The first step I wanna take is what can it offer you the consumer? What can you get out of this operating system? Well, based on what I'm seeing, it's very user friendly, so let's go into here. You can see it's got a Windows-like uh, start menu. Right? That looks almost exactly like Windows. It's got all kinds of built-in software. I mean, you can see it. It's got all kinds of stuff. So then I thought, okay, well, let's look at the file structure. So this is your file. Your, what does this look like to y'all? Tell me. <laughs> I'm listening. Yes, Windows. That's what I said, too. Windows is what it looks like. So it looks like Mac and Windows both. It's a combination of both of them, like the, and and uh, let's see, let's open that back up so you can see it's square corners. Now, it the desktop environment is not GNOME. It's not any of those. The desktop environment specifically is called the DDE, or Deepin Desktop Environment. It's built off of QT, just in case y'all are wondering. Uh, the environment, it looks sort of like Mac OS. So... Uh, it has, uh, the toolbar being very nice with smooth icons, like the, the transitions, like you can see they're animated, they're animated. You can see it. I mean, it's fact I'm running on this on a virtual machine with one processor and four gig of Ram. So that's actually quite, quite fast for, for the hat. This OS is versatile too, man. It, it does all kinds of stuff. You notice also the toolbar. So you notice like over here, like in this area, you have the windows like start menu here. You have the, uh, application launcher, like in Mac OS. And then over here you have a completely unique, uh, group of icons. So you can see, uh, this is the keyboard. So you can toggle this thing on and off like this. You just do that, toggle that right click, toggle it back off. And then you have your USB or your disc. That's a USB symbol though your volume, your uh, connection, uh, your own board. So there's your keyboard. So then you can just turn that off. So see, and then you have your shutdown button. See, so you have your, oh man, did y'all see that? Watch this. Woo, look at that. Boy, you can lock it, shut it down, reboot, suspend, hibernate, log out. Very nice. Very, very nice, man. I got to say, 
Now, what I really want, the desktop environment is very smooth. It has a lot of features. I mean, you can use anything pretty much with this. Anything. I mean, anything. You can do anything with it. Now, I'm not sure how it would work with like gaming or anything like that. I don't think it was built for that. I don't think this 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 environment was built. I think it was built for productivity. That's what I think it was built for. Now, <laughs> the next question you're going to ask is, it's from China, dude. Come on, really? Can we trust that? You know, it depends. The one thing I noticed is when I installed it, I had to, I had to agree to a U a EULA, a user an end user license agreement. That's only found in Windows and Mac. Okay, so that concerned me a little bit. But then I, I I'm going to include links to everything in the description about, like say the uh, the deepen license agreement and all that. So now, now you're asking. Okay, so what do I think? Well, I think that it's a very usable desktop environment. I think that it's simple, it's quick, it's easy, it's fast, it, it looks good, it's smooth. Like, I mean, it's one of the most beautiful desktop environments I've ever seen. Like, it looks very, very good. I mean, it has like music. The calendar app looks a lot like, the icon looks a little bit like uh, Mac, a little bit. With so many features and applications, um, this is a great option for someone coming from Windows. It has a Windows-like environment. I think this desktop environment was designed kind of for the Mac and Windows users because it has some functionality of Windows right here, and it has some functionality of Mac. It just does. I mean, that that's I think that that's the big takeaway from this is that Deepin is a, a an operating system for both Windows and Mac users. It's easy. It's simple. It is so quick. It looks good. I mean, it, it looks very good. I'm looking at it right now. So I, I and and they also have a user feedback thing right here, which I don't think I've ever seen that on the desktop before. But um, so then, what's the conclusion to all this, y'all? What's the conclusion? Should you get it? Should you use it? I would recommend this OS for someone wanting a Windows-like experience and environment. Um, with me, it's got so many customization options. So if we, I just want to look into this real quick. So we go here and we look at general settings and then we go to uh, personalization. So there's your dark thing. Did y'all just see that? Auto, then your light. I mean, you can do accent colors. You can change all of this stuff. I mean, content. I mean, look at this. You can do all these different icon things. Like, I mean, it, it is nuts at the amount of. I mean, you can change your cursor, your to make it like different. You can change your fonts. I mean, network. I mean, dude, you can change everything. Every everything like notifications. You can just put it on do not disturb and it'll shut all of it off. It, it's really, really good. I really like this one. This one, I may try to use for a little while, possibly, because I really like it. I like the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it moves, the way it does everything. And here's what the interesting part is. The final conclusion to all this, this desktop environment comes standard like this. I didn't change anything. This, out of the box, that's the way it looks. That's pretty incredible. So y'all, that's the end of the video. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the little bell notification so when I come out with a video, you get notifications on it. And may the Lord bless and keep you with every step you take and every day that you are alive. Make it the best one it can be. Thank y'all for watching. And until next time, y'all, peace.